Hey, did you know that dysphoria doesn't exist? It doesn't exist. D dysphoria is just low self-esteem. That's what I got called. That's what I got told today by the crisis team. Um, I got section 136 on Sunday. Uh, for, for Americans, section 136 is a section of the Mental Health Act which gives the police powers to detain you and uh, take you to a mental hospital. Basically, it's good. you get sectioned. So I was in a mental hospital Sunday and Monday um, for no reason at all, really. I, I won't go into it. The police were just being overzealous. Yeah. You're looking a little disordered. <laughs> what does that even mean? Is my fashion style that bad, really? <laughs> There. But anyway, I, I was taking a walk at night and the police thought I looked disordered. And of course, because of my past and I'm known to the police and my public protection notice, they, they got a little overzealous. And one of the conditions of me coming out was that to re-engage with the crisis team. And the crisis team are like the team that keep people out of mental hospitals so I had to engage with them. I hate the crisis team. I had a terrible, terrible experience with them uh, last year in September and October. I, I hate them so much. They don't listen to you. They, they don't understand your actual problems. They ask you questions and then don't give you time to answer them and they poke and they prod you until you lose their temper at them and they're like, oh, maybe you need to go into a mental hospital even though they're the ones forcing you. Anyway, I had to go see the crisis team this morning as per my conditions and they said, uh, why do you feel so disordered? Why do you feel um, so depressed all the time? And I'm like, no, it's, it's just dysphoria. It's just dysphoria. I, I don't like facial hair. I don't like my voice. I don't like the way I look. Oh, that's, that's just low self-esteem, Pandora. That's just low self-esteem. There's short people in the world who don't like being short, but they don't feel the way you do. What? Yeah, because a short person being short is really the same as being a girl born in a guy's body. That's really the same. Do, do short people look in the mirror and think they're in a nightmare? This life is freaking hell it's never ending in misery and suffering and torture oh that's just low self-esteem that's just low self-esteem yeah your, your your suffering isn't valid your feelings aren't real dysphoria doesn't exist it's just low self-esteem it doesn't matter what you look like if it didn't matter i wouldn't need to be trans in the first in place would i Bastards, mother. Just go fuck yourselves. Fucking crisis team. Turf Island. I am. I'm so angry. I'm so, I was. I was fine. I was fine when I went in. I don't need them. I didn't need them. I've already got my nurse. I told them I don't need them. But they're like, well, you have to come, or the police will come and detain you again and take you back to Mansfield, the the mental hospital. Uh, so I went just to get them off my back. And now I'm pissed off. I'm really, really pissed off. I, I hate, I hate this country. I need to get out of this f country. Yeah. I want to go to America and move in with my boyfriend. We have the most transphobic government in the world. See, they want to genocide trans people. They, they want to, they want a nice quiet genocide. They want all trans people to be a quiet statistic. Yeah, they're imposing conditions to force us to suicide. Yeah, 20 year waiting lists for the GIC. Yeah, so, so they're, leaving it, they're leaving it too late for you to transition and have a happy life. Uh, the cash report came out a couple of weeks ago, which is basically going to force all trans kids to undergo conversion therapy. Basically, forced conversion therapy for any trans kids. They're going to force them all um, to be cis gender basically because on, on, only cis straight people are, are allowed to exist in the UK
The NHS services are under orders by this current government not to help trans people. Like, we're not allowed access to basic health care. I cannot allow blood tests. I'm not even allowed blood tests because they want me DIYing as dangerously as possible. They don't want me DIYing safely. They want me to die. I can't tell you what's going through my mind right now because I don't want my YouTube channel banned and I don't want police at my door again. Though, though they might come at my door later anyway because I just called my mental health team and I, I told them, I said, listen, can you cancel my appointment for Friday with the crisis team? I'm discharging myself. <laughs> and the reception was, like, are you sure you want to do that? And I'm like, yeah. And they were like, uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. The crisis team might not like that. You might get a phone call from them later. Then they can do what they like. If they want to send police and take me back to the mental hospital, they can. And I'm, I'm, I'm done playing. And I'm, I'm done playing. I'm not playing nicely anymore. I'm going to resist them. I'm going to resist. I'm going to be deliberately be a thorn in their side. Trans people aren't allowed on wharves or their gender anymore. Yeah? If you're a trans woman, you're not allowed on female ro wards. And if you're a trans man, you're not allowed on male wards. This government has declared all-out war on trans people. Soon they're going to remove the hate crime uh, for trans people. I mean, they're calling it open season. I mean, our Prime Minister mocked the parents of Brianna Gay. You know, the trans girl who got stabbed to death because of TERFs and the, the Prime Minister was mocking her parents and they're encouraging violence against trans people and this is genocide removing access to basic health care imposing conditions to make our lives as miserable and difficult as possible and condoning and encouraging open violence against us what else can you call that? But genocide, forced conversion of trans kids, trans kids are going to be punished and persecuted for being trans. I take the next step, this government is going to ban estrogen, completely ban it. Uh, soon, if you DIY, you'll probably end up in prison for it. You watch, that's the next step. My nurse keeps saying, oh, there's no conspiracy against you. There's no conspiracy against you. Open your f***ing eyes. Read the f***ing news. Look what's happening. Look at what the crisis team just said to me this morning. Look at the government's actions. Look at how, at how the NHS is treating us. How is there not a conspiracy? And even my GP said, oh, it's not that I don't want to help you. It's that I'm not allowed. Somebody's giving him orders not to help me, specific orders to not help me. I wonder who. We have a Tory MP, genocide. So all of you out there with crippling dysphoria, ah, oh, don't worry. It's not real, it's just in your head. What next? Do you start telling cancer patients, oh, your cancer's not real, it doesn't exist, you've just got a bad cold, just get over it. Just get over it. I'm sorry I needed that rant. I am... I'm so angry. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of days for a DRG video and at the weekend I've got a few ideas for a, a proper trends video for you. Um, would anyone like to buy me a burger? I want a burger. I think I deserve a burger after this morning. So, yeah. If you'd like to buy me a burger, my PayPal is in the description. <laughs> Can't hurt to ask, right? Uh, Zippity.